Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and as always, I thank you so much for tuning in. Well today everyone, I am going to be bringing you another glam DIY. Actually, got a couple of Dollar Tree DIYs, as well as a thrift uh, makeover that I'll be sharing with you. But I'm also participating in the Home Decor Lux Club collaboration. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the DIY, and then I'm going to go a little bit more into the collaboration. Now, for this DIY, you're going to be seeing me use a few things. I've got some Dollar Tree items, uh, these Dollar Tree miniature bowls. They come for uh, obviously for a dollar, uh, and I'll be using those. Uh, I'm also going to be using some candle holders uh, that come from Dollar Tree. Now, actually, I'm going to change those, but I'll share that with you a little bit later. I'm also going to use some of these Dollar Tree napkin holders. I believe you get six or so, uh, maybe eight uh, in a pack. I'm going to be using this beautiful paint made by Folk Art. It's the Treasure Gold Blue Quartz paint uh, number 3086 and guys this is a beautiful brilliant uh, metallic paint and if you've been following my channel uh, then you know for a few weeks now I've been doing a color series and using various shades of this paint now this is one I've used before but I wanted to go back and revisit it so that I would have a few more pieces. Um, now also, I'm gonna make over this vase. Guys, if you follow this channel, then you already know I love these vases and I thrift them. I find them at my thrift store and every time I do, I pick them up. All right, guys, so now we're gonna jump into the DIY. And as I'm jumping into the DIY, I'll share a little bit more with you about the Home Decor Lux Club and who we are. First of all, we're innovators, embracing the trends, but designing our own style. Now we take risks and personalize our own our uh, own space. We're a VIP Lux Decor Club, and every week in April, or every, yeah, every Saturday in April, we've been bringing you a different sort of video. Now, some of them are vlog style, they may be DIYs, or just the decor ideas uh, that you can use in your home. But we really hope that you'll tune in every Saturday. We've got another one coming next week, and I want to tell you who all the members are. Now, the host and main host is Really Good Living. That's Lady Phoenix. We've also got a Bless Home with Kimberly Davis. We've got Glam Designs by Ann. We've got Cheryl of I Style My Style. We've got Decorating Ant's Place, Creations by Simone, and then of course there's myself and I'm Candy, and this channel is uh, DIY Design by CCW. Now guys, what I'm doing in the first part of this um, video is just sharing with you how I paint my items. I simply go through and put a single coat of paint on each of the items, and uh, one of my wonderful subscribers, Queen is her name, shared with me a while ago that you really should go in the same direction when you're painting and that's what I tried to do. Now I let the, the uh, coats dry in between and uh, you know I think I end up as usual putting about three coats on each of these items. Now I'm not going to do all of the painting on camera because the video would be too long but I will tell you that's what I do and the first coat, I try to let it dry as long as possible, six hours. If you can let it dry overnight, fine. You know, that's even better. Um, and then I ended up painting each of these little individual bowls, and I did that sort of off camera. Um, now, now that I've got them painted, what I'm going to be doing is gluing them together. Now, the glue that I like to use is Quick Hold Glue. It's made by E6000. Guys, use whatever you like. You could certainly do this with hot glue if you wanted to. I prefer the Quick Hold Glue because it's a little thinner and a little bit easier to work with. Um, um, and what I'm doing here is I'm making some Dollar Tree candle holders uh, out of these bowls. And uh, I'm going to use the napkin rings as well. 
as these bowls. And uh, sometimes, guys, when I'm creating, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do in the end. So I'm just kind of going along and letting my creative juices flowing. But um, we're going to see how all this turns out in the end. Uh, but here you see me putting putting them together. I've decided that I'm going to now I actually painted more of these bowls uh, because at first I was going to make my hold my candle holders a little taller. But when I started putting them together, just didn't like the look. I uh, also wanted to make sure they were stable. So what I've decided to do is to use uh, one of the bowl or two of the bowls glued together like you see and then one uh, as a base and then I'm connecting them as you can see with my uh, Dollar Tree napkin rings and then to make it even more stable I'm gonna glue it down to a mirror so again I'll link all of these supplies down in my description box so that you know you know what I've got and, and uh, what I came up with but um, now once I do that I'm gonna sit these aside and let them dry and then we're going to start on the top part of my little Dollar Tree candle holders. Now guys, if you recall, in the beginning of the video, I had some little triangle uh, Dollar Tree candle holders. And I painted them and I was going to use them. And I decided I didn't like the way it looked. So I'll use those in another video. I did paint them with the same paint. So we'll see. But I decided that it would look better if I use these square uh, candle holders. They also come from Dollar Tree and that I don't, I decided not to paint them. You know, it was just a little bit too much, I thought, having the tops uh, painted as well as the base. So what you're going to see me do now is use a little bit of bling wrap and uh, I'm going to deck out the uh, or decorate rather the top of my candle holders and you'll see me kind of play along with this because as i'm doing this i'm not a hundred percent sure what i'm gonna do so i'll just kind of fuddle my way through it and uh, when i get something that i think i like i'm gonna glue it all together and sit it aside and then we'll move on to the base or to the vase i should say
Yeah, so I'm back and I'm going to be working on my vase. Uh, again, just like the candle holders, I did paint the vase it with, with, with at least uh, three coats and I let them dry completely in between and then I let the vase dry overnight so that it wouldn't be tacky when I started my uh, decorations. Now, um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this as I started. Again, I'm just sort of letting my juices flow and we'll see how this turns out and if I like it in the end and if you guys like it but uh, as I began to play with it I decided that I would use uh, this bling wrap to begin with now uh, I decided usually when I'm doing these vases I'll cut the bling wrap into strips of three I decided to go with two this time to see if I can get it a little more even and a little more equal uh, on all sides and something that I've learned and it may help you while you're uh, doing this when I start my first row I usually do lay my vase on the side because if the first row isn't straight the rest of the rows aren't going to be straight uh, and then what I do is uh, apply it try to make sure it's straight and then I tap it into place and uh, by using that quick hold glue, I usually get a pretty quick hold and I can move on to another part of my uh, design. Now, to make sure that everything is evenly spaced, something again that I've learned as I've done more and more of these is to rotate the vase or whatever it is to the other side and then make sure that it's lined up that way. Uh, that way, if it's lined up that way, It'll be easier for me then I rotate it again and do the same thing and continue to fill it in uh, until I've got a nice you know evenly spaced design now this one again I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here as I'm doing it so uh, I wasn't sure if I was just gonna use the four strips or if I was gonna add a little more how far I was gonna go with it and uh, sometimes I just don't know you know sometimes I have the thought completely in my head and sometimes I don't so here I go ahead and I add uh, four strips and I think what I did after that is sort of think about it for a little while uh, and then I came back and added uh, I believe four more for a total of eight uh, and then I started working on the top now again I've you, guys have heard me say this a million times if you're a member of the channel when I'm doing these vases I think of them as dresses that's what they remind me of like that's why I love working with this shape of vase and uh, when I'm doing it I'm thinking of the bottom as a skirt and I'm thinking of the top as more of a blouse and depending on where the neckline or the the cinched in part of the vase is it's either the belt for me or it's the necklace of the of the of the the dress or the outfit or whatever you want to think of it as so here you see I went ahead and I added uh, the four four more rows so that uh, and then again to get them equally spaced you just want to keep turning your vase and uh, if you start the way I said with one on each opposite side they'll be spaced evenly at the end and your your piece will look much more professional uh, or professionally done so once I do this I'll go ahead and start on the top part and I'll do a little work on that uh, and then I'm gonna do the middle now I don't do all of this on camera so I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing and then I want you guys to hold on if you will for the final reveal 
Uh, so on the top, what I decided for contrast is I would use the regular bling wrap as I call it. And now I'm gonna cut it down to size so that it matches up with the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna place, I believe, four pieces of that on top. And then so that I get a little contrast, I'll also use some of the other type of bling wrap as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come up with a way uh, to, you know, uh, handle the belt or neck neck necklace area. I think where this is located, it's probably more of a, almost a necklace area uh, of the vase. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. So guys, hold on and uh, I'll let you see what I do here. And um, then we'll come, I'll come back when it's time for the final reveal. and this is how everything turned out I like these pieces I really do but you let me know what you think there's a close-up of the vase and uh, then there's a close-up of one of the candle holders and uh, then I think I have a close-up here of the other candle holder and, uh, and then we'll take a closer look at everything and I'll talk to you about what I did so I ended up adding uh, that Hot fix trim, uh, as you can see, around the, the neckline or the belt of the vase uh, to give it a finished look. And then I decided that piece that I was showing you, it's actually, uh, it came in one section. It was a three-piece set, uh, and that is the brooch that I'm talking about there. It came from Hildy and Joe, or they're made by Hildy and Joe, and it came uh, actually from... Uh, uh, Joanne Fabrics. What I decided to do so that this would look more finished is I separated it into three. But again, it was connected when I initially showed it to you. And what I did is separate it into three, and then I added one to each, one to each candle holder and one to the vase. That way it would, again, look like a finished set. Now we're looking a little closer at the candle holders. Now again, I wanted this to look like I sorta wanted them to be a finished set or a complete set. So I used a little bit of the hot fix trim, the same trim, uh, around my bowls, you know, to kind of cover where I glued them together. And, um, and then the rest is, of course, just as you saw it, I used the bling wrap. And, um, and you know, I, I really like how it came out. I think it's really pretty. It's fancy. It's glam. It's me. Um, but it does look like I sort of wanted it to be a set. And um, 
the hot fix trim uh, that comes again from Joanne Fabrics. You can buy it from different places, but I'll leave a link down in my description box. Now, the hot fit, what I did is cut that trim uh, in half so that I could use half of that piece, half of a piece on each of my uh, Dollar Tree candle holders. That way, they would fit, and you know, it would look nice. So anyway. Please let me know what you think. I like these pieces and I'm going to start using them right away. But again, always welcome your comments. So again, guys, remember uh, to go and check out the other members of the Home Decor Lux Club. Again, they are really good living. Um, and uh, she is the main host. That is Lady Phoenix, a blessed home with Kimberly Davis, Glam Designs by Ann, I Style My Style, Decorating Ann's Place, Creations by Simone, and again, me, DIY Design by CCW. My name is Candy. Now, guys, if you're not a member of the channel, I really hope that you'll consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the family. I also have memberships, and again, as I mentioned, I'm going to be adding a few more things uh, membership-wise, and I really hope uh, that you'll either subscribe or become a member. Either way, I'd love to have you be a member of the family. Now, guys, in the back, uh, as is custom, I always like to show you things that I've DIY'd uh, in other videos. Those jars were the first, uh, or other items, rather, that I created using the same paint. Now, that vase in the middle is actually done with a different shade it's more of a turquoise than a blue and um, so I'll make sure that I link that vase the base that it's sitting on is from another DIY I'll make sure to link that that uh, vase there is another DIY of course uh, those candle holders on the side there uh, the round ones in the back they were done with the vase in the back I'll make sure to link those as well uh, again that video rather and then there's a vase on the right that was also done as another part uh, of a DIY or another in another DIY video so again guys I thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, like I like to say at the end of every video I can't wait to see you each and every one of you in the next video all right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Bye-bye.